Hi folks, this is Patrick with Northwest Treasures and I uh, want to welcome you to GeoTalks. Today I want to look at a very interesting subject, at least to me it is, and I enjoy finding these particular fossils. Um, I've collected them since I was a kid. Uh, I've got a pan full of them here. These are some of my uh, collection. And uh, these are called ammonites. Now they derive their name from the coiled shell that was a part of the uh, military garb of the ammonites. And of course, that's how they got their name. Ram's horns um, they were wearing. And uh, so the ammonites though, are a very interesting group of fossils. Most of them appear to be extinct. We have the Nautilus today, which is abundant, uh, but most of them appear to be extinct. Now, because they're, uh, most of them tend to be extinct, how are we gonna write a history of these creatures? And uh, modern evolution tries to write a history of these by pointing out all the different variations uh, as evolutionary developments in the shells. Some of the shells have uh, multiple coils, as you can see. Here's one down here that has a multiple coil. Others have very few coils. Some have ridges, shallow ridges. Others have very deep ridges. Some have very flat shells. Um, but they're just a nice variety of them and, and uh, they're wonderful to collect. But are we talking about evolutionary developments in these critters or are we talking about simply variation within a kind? Well, there's no way scientifically to tell, of course, because we don't have these critters in our fish tanks or sea tanks today to study them. There seem to be, uh, they seem to all have died out uh, either in the flood or shortly after the flood and their fossils are abundant. But um, they show us really that if, uh, if you look at them, they kind of portray one particular kind. We'll call them the ammonite kind, if you like. But within the ammonite kind are lots of variations, just like there are among dogs. The dog kind today, aren't, uh, they don't uh, represent evolutionary variation. They simply uh, represent uh, variations within a kind. And so I like to study the ammonites because they do give me uh, an idea of what we're talking about when we talk about kind and variation as opposed to evolutionary development.